back to our channel so y'all before we even get this vlog started i want y'all to know that i am now accepting new members of the danny gang so if you want to be a member of the gang because you're keto or because you like me or because you like books or simply you want to support a small baby youtuber then go ahead and press subscribe hit the bell and put your fists up because we got to fight 2020 is ghetto as hell and i need people in my gang that's gonna hold it down and it's gonna fight for me so put your fists up and fight me once you fight me and you jumped in you become a lifetime member of the gang period but yeah y'all it is thursday so happy thursday hopefully i can get this video out tomorrow which is friday so hopefully when you're watching this it's friday payday friday hopefully um so yeah that's what we're doing y'all i'm basically just working i look crazy i just i just look how i look period but i decided to just pull the camera out and vlog because during this quarantine y'all i have not been vlogging the way i should and i haven't been doing the things that i should be doing because we're quarantined and i'm like y'all don't want to see it y'all don't want to see it but anyway um i'm currently working right now um i'm turning the camera around all right y'all so literally um let me pause the tv literally i'm at bay's house so when i work at bay house i just pretty much work from the couch so i have my blanket and then of course i have my laptop set up my mouse and then i have youtube so right now i'm watching my girl learning to be fearless she is so bomb she does a lot of beauty content but she also vlogs a lot so i'm just catching up on her vlogs there go my girl ashley but yeah as y'all can see i've been watching learning to be fearless a lot and this is basically what i do i watch youtube while i work um and then i take a break and like do dishes and stuff so yeah y'all wanted to like a uh, day in my life so this is basically what it is i get comfy and cozy here i usually have like a cup of coffee like on this end table by my apple watch and stuff but um I didn't have any coffee today. I'm actually fasting. So yeah, that's my little setup. Right now, I'm gonna take a 15 minute break and like clean the kitchen, do the dishes and stuff like that. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna um, put in like a speed montage so you guys can watch me clean. Hope you guys like this kind of video. I've never done a day in a life video. So if it's weird and awkward, <laughs> bear with me. Oh, I, I want to is to be close to you but i don't know how and what to do i'm so shy when it comes to you but i guess you're curious huh so let me show you So yeah, I'm pretty much done cleaning the kitchen. I've already swept the floor and everything. I wanted to come and show you guys these. Y'all know in my previous vlog, I showed you guys that I have found these Duncan Hines keto friendly, um, like uh cakes in a bowl and this one had five net carbs. So I told you guys I do recommend these. Y'all should get these, but I also saw 
these. So I ran in Walmart yesterday to get a couple things. And while I was in there, I was actually looking for some more of the other ones. And I ran across these Birch Benders ones. Y'all, so let me tell you guys. They have... This is the Birch Benders Brownie a la Cup. It has three net carbs, y'all. Only three. I haven't tried it. I'll probably try it tonight. And it's the double chocolate flavor. And it says keto friendly. And it's super simple. I think all you got to do is, yeah, add three tablespoons of water, mix, and then microwave for 60 seconds. So I got the Brownie a la Cup. Three net carbs. And then I also picked up this Birch Benders cake a la cup this one has four net cards and it's a birthday cake y'all and again 60 seconds to cook all you gotta do is add two well this one two tablespoons of water mix well and heat and then the last one i got was the pancake a la cup and it has five net carbs and it's in a chocolate chip flavor and basically it is just three tablespoons of water mix and heat Yep, another little keto find that I wanted to come and show you guys. So if y'all see these in Walmart, get them. Of course, I'll come back and try them in another video or I'll update y'all or I'll include it like in a what I eat in a day. Maybe today, I don't know. And really quick, guys, I wanted to come and show you, if you guys watched my last vlog, then you guys saw these shorts. These are the shorts that I actually got from Five Below. And this is what they look like, y'all. Super cute, super cozy. If you know me, you know I'm not like a short kind of girl. But yeah, these are comfortable. Um, this little tank top is just my tank top. All right, gang, so your girl is out the house, y'all. I was about to get dressed. And like do my makeup and stuff but i opted out of doing that how many of y'all beating y'all face every day like typically i try to get dressed and do my face like a couple times a week but y'all saw i did it for uh what well, y'all didn't see but if you follow me on instagram then you know that i went to a gathering still social distancing i went to a gathering for Cinco de Mayo and I actually got dressed and stuff so I did my I did my face and my hair and everything that day so now today um I was about to get dressed but I was like nah just forget it but I'm out the house it's my lunch break I'm out the house because I'm about to go to Walmart your girl is cooking tonight I haven't cooked in a minute so um I am gonna cook tonight so I had to come to Walmart and get all the stuff. I think I'm gonna do, this is gonna be a non-keto, a non-keto meal, uh, but I will show you guys how you can do it keto, but it's just gonna be spaghetti and meatballs um, with a side salad and garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread. So yeah, as y'all can see, they got Walmart still roped off and everything. Um, I just threw on this little beanie, y'all, because I did not untwist my hair. It's in like a little bun back here. He looking at me. I can come this way, boo. I can come this way. But my thing is, why is Walmart so lit? <laughs> why is Walmart so lit, honey? Jeez Louise. Y'all still spending y'all stimulus checks, huh? Anyway. Y'all know me, I don't care to park far away. So I'm literally all the way at the back of the parking lot and that's just fine with me. Um, but the fact that I don't have on makeup and my skin is looking pretty good. So I am happy about that. But anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all in Walmart. Probably not because I got a shop. But I just wanted to come and let y'all know what I was doing. This is a day in the life and it's my lunch break and I'm um, grocery shopping. Once I get home, I'll probably work out, but y'all will see. All right, let's go.
night, y'all. So I made it back from Walmart. Um, I will be eating some of this. So this meal that I eat tonight will not be keto, but mostly everything I got was keto. So the first thing that I picked up were these mild Italian style pork meatballs. So I am going to put these in the oven and bake them up and add these to the spaghetti. So yeah, these just looked so good. And I kind of didn't want to get the frozen ones because the frozen ones sometimes just take taste too fake so i got these y'all um italian style pork meatballs so that's the first thing that i got the second thing that i got is this all natural ground turkey so i am going to make turkey spaghetti and add those pork meatballs the next thing that i picked up was just a pack of spaghetti this is just regular um two ounces of spaghetti that i'll be using i picked up a bell pepper because i like to chop up the bell pepper and um uh, put it in the sauce as well as some diced onions um I like to use these as well. Typically, I'll buy an onion, but lately I've been lazy, so I just bought some diced onion. Um, also, I picked up some minced garlic to go in the spaghetti. And then, y'all, I picked up a lot of seasonings because before I left the house, I didn't check to see what they had. So, I just bought everything that I know I would need. Um, I got some bay leaves. I got some garlic powder. I got some onion powder and I got some Italian seasoning. So those are all the seasonings that I know I'm gonna need. Um, I actually got this piece of watermelon. I love watermelon, y'all. I know it's not the best keto fruit, but again, y'all, I live my life mostly keto. Every single thing I eat is not keto. So I am gonna enjoy some watermelon because I love it. And I'm also gonna enjoy some spaghetti tonight. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah mostly everything i do eat and i try to do stay living by keto but anyway so yeah i got that watermelon i got three limes because we do still have some tequila and we like to take shots so we'll probably have some tequila shots tonight so i picked up some lime i picked up this um blonde ground coffee and it's just the pods for the keurig um, there were no more here, so I just picked these up. I already got heavy cream and like sugar-free vanilla and caramel here, so I just picked these up. I picked up this um, Caesar salad kit because, like I said, we're going to have um, a side salad, a Caesar salad on the side. I love Caesar salad, so I know for sure this is the salad I'm going to have on the side. I picked up this New York Bakery Texas Toast, five cheese. Y'all, if I eat bread, if I have toast, this is my favorite. I love cheesy bread, so I'm going to bake a couple of these. I got this extra virgin olive oil because I'm going to need that to cook. Then I picked up this Parmesan cheese. Just got the Great Value brand, y'all. Don't sleep on a Great Value brand. It tastes just as good, if not better, than the real brands. So I picked up some Parmesan cheese for the spaghetti. And then, y'all, I picked up three of these ragu chunky sauce this is the sauce i like to use and i like to get the tomato garlic and onion typically i would just get the one big one but they literally had none so i just got three of these and i probably won't use them all but um i just picked these up just in case because i like my sauce saucy so a tip if you want to be extra keto because i think this has 14 grams of carbs um yep this has 14 grams of carbs two dietary fibers um so 12 carbs this is a lot i would um advise if you want to be strictly keto and have spaghetti get the rayos and they sell it everywhere it's r a o and that has the lowest amount of carbs i think six so yeah but yeah like i said this is going to be my non-keto meal so i'm not tripping but that's typically what i would get and also y'all have seen it before on my channel if i don't get eat real spaghetti i'll get the zucchini noodles but again this is like my cheap meal fun meal non-keto meal so yeah i got three of these i picked bay up some ben and jerry's half baked ice cream y'all know i already got my ice cream keto coffee and also these carb smart briars i already showed you guys these caramel swirl bars if you didn't see them make sure you go watch the last vlog because i showed them so yeah that's what i got bay and then I got a Diet Coke because I love to have Coke 
um, with my meals. I love Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper. I just love it. And then I also picked up this 19 Crimes Red Wine. So I decided to get a bottle of this red wine because wine goes good with spaghetti. So yeah, this is everything I got from the store. I'm going to go ahead and put everything up. And then I'll come back when I start cooking to kind of show you guys. And I'm so sorry I forgot to come back but basically I just um I did the minced garlic and about half an onion first with a little bit of olive oil after I cooked that and caramelized it I basically um fried up the meat I added a little bit of this bell pepper as well as a little bit of fresh tomato to try to get that fresh sauce feel um so now I'm kind of just letting this meat simmer. I got it all seasoned up. I taste it, tastes really good. Um, so I'm gonna add in the sauce and kind of let that simmer. And I'm gonna just let that cook until it's closer to time to eat dinner. I am boiling my water over here for the noodles. So I'm about to drop that in. And then um, I'm kind of looking at this. I think I want to drain some of this off, even though typically you don't have to drain ground turkey. I think I'm going to drain it off just in case. And then if I need more sauce, I got it. And then like 30 minutes before I serve, I'm going to add like half a cup of this Parmesan into the sauce. So I just want to come in and touch bases. I'll probably be back when it's done. Okay, guys, so this is how the meatballs kind of came out. They came out really caramelized and juicy. So what I did was I took majority of them and added them to the sauce. And I'm kind of just letting the sauce simmer. Y'all, this is going to be a very meaty spaghetti. Um, I didn't add all of these, but the cool part about it is if you want meatballs, you can get meatballs. If you don't, you can just get the meat sauce because I didn't put too many in there. So that's good. And then I have my pasta going here. It's got about five minutes left. So after that's done, I think I'm going to leave it separated until it's closer time to eat. I'm not sure. But yeah, in about five minutes, I'll drain my spaghetti. But in the meantime, I'm going to clean these dishes. And yeah, I wish y'all could smell it because it smells so good in here. Like it smells bomb. It smells like my grandma spaghetti, period. But anyway, yeah, so let me clean and then I'll be back later. This is what the spaghetti ends up looking like, y'all. When I say it tastes so bomb, it tastes so bomb. While I'm sipping on wine, y'all, I am sipping on this block red sangria from Trader Joe's. Bomb. I also have two shots set up and some limes and some salt. We're going to take shots. I'll probably do like an egg diet or something to get back on track. Okay, guys, so I'm about to make this. So basically, I showed y'all this earlier. It has three net carbs, and I just added three tablespoons of water. And I'm gonna mix it. Well, I can't mix it and record, but record me. All right, y'all. So we're just gonna mix it until smooth. Super simple. The other one you had to add like melted butter, but this one looks like it's gonna be pretty simple. So we're just gonna mix it. Oh, that might have been too much, y'all. Oh, okay. I oh, know. It looks smooth. All right. And then we're going to microwave this for 60 seconds. And then when we finish, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I put this in the microwave for 60 seconds. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty moist. It looks pretty moist. And then I also took out my keto pint coffee ice cream. So I'm going to eat that with it. But let's just see. Looks pretty moist, y'all. Let's see. Do it look like cake? Y'all do it look like cake? Mmm. But it tastes like cake. Yeah, it tastes better than the other one. So, yeah. 
I'm about to eat this, y'all. I got this from Walmart. And then I'm going to eat some of this with it, which I got from Walmart as well. Okay, gang, I wanted to come back and officially end the vlog. Um, it is Friday, so I know I told y'all earlier, it should be Friday, and it is indeed Friday, so happy Friday. But I wanted to come and end the vlog and just let you guys know that, um, you know, it is okay to not eat keto 24-7. I have been eating keto this whole time, so I decided to eat some spaghetti and meatballs and have a piece of garlic bread. Y'all, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to come and kind of just reassure that it's okay if we fall off i intentionally wanted to enjoy some spaghetti and meatballs so that's what i did however i know that in this time especially we're slipping up and all of that and it's okay it's okay to be going strong and treat ourselves it's okay to fall off and then restart it's okay and that's why i wanted to make sure i showed you guys what i am eating because my channel is geared towards keto for the most part but i fall off i slip up and then i enjoy myself as well so i wanted to make sure that i came back and said that it is okay to fall off it's okay to treat yourself it's okay to have a cheat meal but we still just have to remain active and work out and just not go crazy like for instance i had spaghetti and meatballs last night with a piece of garlic bread okay I'm going to work out today. I'm going to drink plenty of water and I may do an egg fast to get back on track or I may still enjoy a couple non-keto items. Like right now, I'm really focused on just being healthy and like continuing to work out. So yeah, I just wanted to come and just do that little spiel. Y'all know I'm transparent and y'all know I will always be. Um, let me know down in the comments or have you guys slipped up? Have you guys been going strong and decided to treat yourself throughout this quarantine? Let me know. But anyway, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, drop the little bowl of spaghetti down below because it was busting and i'll see you guys in my next video report live from the internet signing out back to you world deuces